A new witness to the sensational and tragic disappearance of Natalie Holloway over 10 years ago has come forward. You may recall that Natalie was on a high school graduation trip when she disappeared. Jiren Dejong has now shed light on what may have happened. Joran van der Sloot has been the key suspect and De Jong said he saw van der Sloot chasing Natalie into a building under construction. Minutes later, van der Sloot was seen carrying her body, slamming it on the floor and then shoving it into a crawl space. Dave Holloway is looking for closure on his daughter's death and finally putting her to rest. Jose, yes. this has been an alarming circus of events since this tragedy of this young girl who was going on a trip with her friends for her graduation and unfortunately met her death in Aruba. Mm -hmm. They've been looking for her body ever since. He has been, was arrested twice, let off, and since then has had a number of different things. He was on Greta Van Susteren admitting to say that he sold her to slavery. He extorted Beth Holloway by asking her for 250000 and he would actually show her where the remains of Natalie's body was. He was under surveillance camera admitting to an undercover that he was, that he killed her. And yet, he got away with murder, and to this day now, there's this new suspect that's come up and saying, yes, I saw the whole thing. And due to the fact that I had been under, he was possibly um, under illegal um, circumstances, mm -hmm. so he didn't want to divulge his identity, so now he's coming forth. I think that it's a bit too late, considering he's had a second murder in Peru in 2010 with Stephanie Flores. Yeah. So this is, again, um, you know, he's trying to bring the body and saying he knows where the whereabouts are, but is it a little late now? I think it's very late, and it's not a little late. I think it's very suspicious the fact that suddenly he's coming into mainstream media, divulging all of these key elements to the story that if they have been brought up maybe 10 years ago, then the investigation had led somewhere else, and this family could have finally find closure to this, 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 this grace that happened to their family, this, this terrible tragedy. Exactly. I mean, and, and, and I almost look at him as, uh, like, if he would have maybe come forth, then maybe the second murder wouldn't even have happened. And how come he has not been convicted of any of this? It's, he's only serving 28 years currently now in Peru, and he's going to be extradited back to because of what he did with the Beth extortion. Holloway for the extortion. Yeah. But yet we're still looking at this young girl whose body hasn't been found, this key witness, and it's really interesting where this is all going to lead. And I just feel for the parents because they're... They want answers. They need closure. And this guy, this um, Vandersloot, has gotten away with murder over a system that's fallen through the cracks. There was a lot of police there in Aruba. It's a small island. Um, if she is in this warehouse, the fact that she isn't in the ocean, how come her body wasn't found? With all of these police and reporters around, it's very disturbing. I think there's a lot of um, elements to this story that come together to this, this unfortunate outcome, the fact that there's some, some level of corruption in the police department involved, the way the investigation was conducted was very faulty, and at the end it's very sad to see a family that is trying to bring co closure to, to this horrible thing, and suddenly this new lead pops up, and hopefully it's something that is legit, that is true, because it's not, and it's just another thing created or agitated by mainstream media to bring some ratings up by, by broadcasting a new interview with new facts, it will be very sad to be playing with this family, uh, this grace just for ratings. Yeah, you bring up a good point. What's his agenda? Is it money? Is he feel guilty? Um, it brings up why is he coming out now too? Exactly. Uh, what's behind it? But um, again, I hope we do find her body for the parents and Dave Holloway and Beth. And we'd like to hear your comments below about this new lead in Aruba on Natalie Holloway's body being found. Please leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching The Lip.